The title is a returning submachine gun added to Destiny 2 as part of the Guardian games. This one is an aggressive frame SMG, meaning it's a 700 rounds per minute SMG. Plus we've got updated perks. So while it's not as great as some of the other monster SMGs in the game right now, it is worth getting a decent roll. Plus we've got versions of the weapon dropping very frequently throughout the game and you can get those double perks. So it's definitely worth keeping hold of the rolls and inspecting them as they drop. Today I'm going to dive into the stats, the perks and the girls to chase for PvP and also PvE, plus also how to get the title in Destiny 2. Okay, let's dive right into it, so how to get the title in Destiny 2. So to get this one, you want to take part in Guardian Games, and you get a version of the title in the introduction quest from Eva Levante, plus you get many versions of the title by handing in medals at the podium. The more valuable the medal, the more likely you are to get a Guardian Games weapon, I do believe if you trade in a Platinum Medal, you are guaranteed to get a Guardian Games weapon. But let me know down there in the comments if I'm wrong on that one. To get medals, you want to take part in Guardian Games activities and complete contender cards, which you can pick up from Eva Levante, and they reward medals, and turn in those medals to the podium for rewards. Okay, let's have a closer look at the title. So it's a legendary energy submachine gun with an aggressive frame, meaning it's high damage, high recall. So looking at the stats... You've got 23 for impact, 40 for range, 20 for stability, 48 for handling, 23 for reload speed, 21 for airborne effectiveness. It's a 750 rounds per minute submachine gun with 28 in the magazine. So we have a couple of origin traits. We've got Classy Contender. That one is exclusive to Guardian Games weapons. The so final blows of the weapon grant class ability energy. Then you've got Hake Breach Armament. So the weapon deals increased damage against vehicles, turrets, barricades and stasis crystals. Okay, next up, let's have a look at the title god roll guide. So for PvE, small bore, high caliber rounds, envious assassin, and repulsor brace would be good. So small bore increases range, increases stability. High caliber rounds slightly increases range. Envious assassin, so rapidly defeating targets with other weapons before drawing this one, transfers ammo to the magazine from reserves. This effect can overflow the magazine based on the number of targets defeated. Finally, one of the most popular perks on a void weapon at the moment, repulsor brace. So defeating a Void debuff target grants an overshield, so that is very, very good for Void builds. For PvP, Hammerforge Rifling, high caliber rounds, perpetual motion, and range finder would be good. So with Hammerforge Rifling, increases range, great in PvP. High caliber rounds, slightly increases range, again, good in PvP. Perpetual motion, this is almost a must-have perk in PvP, so the weapon gains bonus stability, handling and reload speed while the wielder is in motion. And you've got Range Finder, again, great in PvP. Aiming the weapon increases its effective range and zoom magnification. And that is your lot for PvP and PvE. Well, let me know in the comments what you think about the title, and let me know what perks work best for you. But that is it for this guide for how to get the title in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching or listening. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or you can check me out on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again. I'll see you soon.